What's up guys, happy weekend. This video is gonna be dedicated to a handful of questions I received regarding what classes to take and things that are good to know. If you're lucky enough to be in a school right now with a cool engineering curriculum, this video might be irrelevant to you. For everyone that's not in school right now or isn't involved in a really accredited engineering program, sometimes it's a little hard to figure out exactly what points you should be focusing on and that's the purpose of this video. Each one of these big topics has a class or more than one class associated with it and if you're not involved in any programs right now, just use these topics as kind of an outline of what you could kind of learn more about or look into more. Everything we're gonna go over in this video is very high level, but if you can speak to each one of these areas relatively well and you're comfortable explaining each one of these areas that we're gonna cover in this video, we're gonna be really well off, all right? Let's get started. Number one, the prerequisite to everything, in our field at least, is gonna be intro to programming. If you're totally new to this, you have to just understand basic words like for loops, while loops, operators, go over basic data types, go over basic program structure, maybe get into a little object-oriented programming, just very introductory level stuff. Number two, again, is introduction to programming, just second time around. The point of this is to really reinforce everything you learned in step one, and this is still a very introductory level courses, and I believe at most programs, most curriculums, there's at least two, if not more, intro level programming courses. The major point that I just wanna drive home with number two is that you can't really take in all of intro to programming with just one course. So whether it be one, two, three, or four courses, whatever is available to you, just make sure you really get that intro well, all right? Spend a lot of time there. All right, going on to number three on the list is a basic math and or statistics course. With basic math, you'll understand how to form real mathematical logical arguments like induction, strong induction, what does it take to prove something. With stats, you can learn about what does expected value mean? What is the binomial probability theorem? It's just really basic level stats and both of these things are just gonna help with everyday life as well as engineering. Fourth class I have on my list is the basic algorithms and data structures class. And this one is really important. I'm not gonna go into the details of algorithms and data structures, but this is gonna be your first little bit of taste in real computer science. Also, the scope of algorithms and data structures is really, really broad. You can go from really basic hash tables or linked lists that are pretty practical and you can go all the way to very, very high level theoretical things. Mileage may vary for algorithms and data structures, but they are essential and you have to take it. So that's number four. Number five is gonna be computer systems and this is understanding how a computer really works. Bits, bytes, virtual memory, the memory hierarchy, basics of computer architecture, I've seen this course or subject go under a lot of different names, but it all encompasses very similar things. It's how a computer fundamentally works. All right, number six on the list is gonna be a very basic web application course. This might be the most practical out of all the courses you'll take because it's really probably getting to a little more hands-on industry level software that you might use on the job. This course will teach you the basics of the internet, how to build a basic web application and use a basic web framework. It also teach you the ins and outs of databases. I put this course on the list because I feel it's really important as a prerequisite to get a lot of jobs in the software industry these days. So make sure you take that if it's available to you. Okay, so that was a very high level overview of big topics and those six things all go under a very basic list that I feel every engineer should know about and be able to talk about. Now it's time to go into a little extra cool stuff that I don't feel like it's a prerequisite to maybe getting a job or maybe even being an effective engineer, but these are the extra goodies that are really cool and if you know about these things, it's even better. Number seven is gonna be operating systems. 
just understanding how a basic operating system works. How does your file system work? How are different processes scheduled? How is memory managed? How is the OS working? What is exactly a kernel? What does that even mean? Number eight is gonna be a course about compilers. And if you take a course like this, you'll really understand how a computer language is constructed and what its grammar is like. I know compiler seems like really crazy wizard magic-like stuff, but if you take a course on compilers and basic languages, you'd be able to write your own compiler for your own custom language after the course probably. It's pretty cool stuff. Number nine, nine is gonna be computer architecture. This is kind of like the big brother of computer systems and if you take computer architecture, you'll really, really understand what's going on inside a CPU. All right, last one, number 10, 10th course that I think would be really cool to know about is computer networks. This is also like the big brother of your intro to web application courses. When we build a web application, we just code it up, use a framework, and we just put it on the internet, right? But how exactly does the internet itself work? If you take a course like computer networks or networking, you'll really understand how networks work and also how the internet works. Not many people could explain TCP IP. I can't, I can't explain it. It's a really crazy concept and it's always working for us, but if you take computer networks, you'll know the ins and outs of the internet and it's pretty cool. All right guys, that's my list. Six really basic courses and six basic topics that we all should understand and four extra goody topics which are really good to know. Remember that you don't have to be a master at every single one of these subjects. No one's a master at everything. As you go about your career and learning, you'll start gravitating towards different areas. Remember that gravitating towards one of these areas doesn't mean you can be oblivious to the other areas. We should all be able to talk about each area of computing with a little bit of comfort, you know? All right guys, so there's like an endless amount of things you could potentially go over. You could always check out new things and I would encourage you to always review the fundamentals very often and it'll just make your lives a lot easier. I hope this overview and kind of outline of a curriculum is helpful and can guide you in your coursework or your personal studies. You know, no one's done learning this stuff. Drop me a comment or give me a thumbs up and like if you enjoyed this video and I hope everyone has a great weekend. All right, take care and see you next time.